Hey gamers, this is Liz Davidson from Beyond Solitaire, and today I'm going to be reviewing micro puzzles. But do micro puzzles provide mega fun? Let's find out. Micro puzzles are 150 piece puzzles that come in these little test tubes, and when you put them together, they create truly small puzzles that are maybe about the size of a postcard, about the size of the palm of your hand. You might notice they also come in these fun test tubes, which actually makes them pretty easy to transport. This is pretty sturdy material, and I've had these in my backpack throughout the course of the past couple weeks. So for this review, in order to kind of test across multiple designs and images, I did three micro puzzles, and I found that I really liked them for some very specific reasons. Those of you who have been following my personal life on Twitter know that I have been back in school with students and that I am somehow managing right now to teach both online and kids who are coming to my room face to face and trying to maintain social distancing and doing the in-person and digital teaching at the exact same time. So I have kids who are signed on to Google Meet and kids who are in my classroom simultaneously. So you might have guessed that this causes a lot of stress and my anxiety has been through the roof. But if I could get my doctor to write me a prescription for micro puzzles, I would, because what I've been doing is I've been kind of subtly putting a micro puzzle in front of my computer on my desk at work, and whenever I need a moment to breathe, I place a few pieces of the puzzle. Because these are so small and so portable, you can basically just finish one of these if you work on it on and off throughout the day at work. So when I have downtime, when it's passing period, when I'm eating lunch, I work on the micro puzzle a little bit, and I find that that focus time really helps me calm down and kind of get my thoughts to stop racing and just kind of bring me to a better place. So I normally prefer much larger puzzles. I like to work on puzzles for extremely long periods of time, but having these little small micro puzzles, especially when I just need something to fidget with, is awesome. And I absolutely intend to buy more. You can get these online. I'll put the link to micro puzzles in the show notes. And each puzzle is about $8. So they're expensive enough that maybe I'm not gonna buy every single one right now, but they're cheap enough that it's easy to get a few and just kind of cycle them and really enjoy putting them together a few times each. So that's what I've been doing. In terms of the quality of the puzzles, it's actually pretty good. The pieces are in fact small, but they're pretty chunky, like they're thick for micro puzzle pieces. And I really like that they have brightly colored backs because it makes it easier to find them if you happen to drop one on the floor which, not gonna lie, has happened. They also have a pretty nice matte surface with good color saturation, so the puzzles look really nice once you put them together. I did have some occasional issues with pieces splitting, either because I had misjoined them and had to pull them back apart, or because they came that way, but it definitely did not hinder me putting the puzzle together, and it did not impact the look of the puzzle when I was done. So overall, these were very quality puzzles that I feel comfortable taking apart, putting back together again, lending to a friend after I let them quarantine for a little bit. They're definitely good puzzles, and I will be buying more. They have a couple of minor drawbacks that I'll also bring up here, however. The first is that there's not like a full flat image of the puzzle on the tube. Instead, you have to rotate around in order to see the full image. If you want the whole thing, there is like a little QR code that you can scan, but I'm normally way too lazy to do that. The only other issue that these had for me is that honestly, they're over too fast. One of the reasons I prefer larger puzzles is because I'm a fairly quick puzzler and I like stuff to keep me occupied for a long time. I feel like I got my money's worth if it takes me a while to finish. So these micro puzzles are a different beast because they really are micro both in terms of their size and the amount of time that they take up. So if you're looking for a massive time consuming experience, obviously a micro puzzle is not it. However, the designs are really pleasing. I completed three different ones. I did Surf and Safari, which is a really cute image of a car. I did a really adorable image of a little girl in some colorful paint drop rain. And I also especially enjoyed the stained glass tree. The color gradients were really fun to put together and I feel like the final product was beautiful. There are a bunch of other interesting images on the micro puzzle site that I personally intend to order and try to put together. So as you can tell, I had a good experience with these. Because I like having something to do with my hands while I'm at work, I think that that's what these will be. They will be my designated downtime, have a few moments during a stressful day puzzles. And I'm going to keep some at my desk specifically for that emergency calm down purpose. 
But if you want a puzzle to travel with, if you want a puzzle that's just quick because you don't have a lot of time, but you want to do a puzzle, I actually think micro puzzles are a great option because they're economical, easy to transport, and well-made. So if that's the experience that you're looking for, go for it. Happy puzzling.